Hey guys, it's been a long time, but today I just want to talk about something that was on my heart. And I want to talk about like some comparisons, like, because um, I don't think we really understand what it is to be long into the kingdom of God. And so um, I just wanted to do some comparisons and then, um, you know, take what you will out of it. So my first thing is, is that I want to compare the kingdom of God, um, like the, fa which is a family, I want to compare it like a gang. And um, some people understand the, the gang and, and the gang mentality. Also, I want to compare it to like belonging to a country, like to the United States. So unless we are born into that, then we have to get adopted in, or we have to go through some certain measures to be to become part of the gang, the country, or the kingdom. And so for God, he had called us to do some things. He said that we have to be born again, and that's in John 3, 5. John 3, 3 and John 3, 5. He said that we have to be born again of water and of spirit to enter the kingdom of God. And that's just for us to get, to get inside. We see that also in like, like a gang mentality in that, um, like, to you can't just go and say, okay, I'm part of this gang. Like, they're not gonna, nobody's gonna recognize that. But we, we, but we think that we are gonna be able to go before the, go and in, be into the kingdom of God, to enter into his kingdom, and we're gonna just be able to say, oh, I just, I believe that I'm in it, I'm in the kingdom of God. And, but we, let's look at some more comparisons. To enter into a gang, you have to go through certain steps. And then when you become a member of this gang, you also, like, you start to look like the gang. You start to wear the things. You're held accountable. Your, your representation of the gang, the, um, the things that you're called to do as a gang member. Now that's a negative connotation. But we see that that is like what the original church was like, but it's except it's supposed to be centered around God and godly things and not of criminal activity and such. So to enter into the kingdom of God, he says that we must repent and turn away from our sins. We have to be, have baptism and full wa in water, full immersion. And then we have to receive his Holy Spirit. And those three things are required. It's not like we can say, or, or we can go, oh, I only need one of these things, or I only need two of these things, that all of those things have to happen for us to be born into, or born again into the kingdom, and for us to belong to the kingdom of God. And then for us to call ourselves disciples of Christ, or children of God, then we also have to represent him in that way, the fashion that he deems necessary, that he wants, and that's in obedience. And that obedience is because we love him. So just, and then I can use another example, like, and like, say I'm not from America and I come into America and I want to become an American citizen. Do you have to do things to become part of an American citizenship? Absolutely. You have to do specific things. And that's the same as what God has called us to do. It's like just to even get in there, we have to, we have to come to his standard. And so I just encourage you guys just to look at it for yourselves, to ask God. And if he, ha and, and if he reveals that to you, to get born again, to enter into his kingdom, to get born again of water and of spirit, and I thank you for your time, and I just bless you in the name of Jesus. There's only one purpose, and that purpose is, is to worship the King, the King of Kings, in Jesus' name.